Legend says it leads to an endless fountain of liquid gold. Yeah. Do we enslave the Ashers? We shall punish the ash that has entered my models of the sacred temple. <laughs> have you also been drinking potions? <laughs> yes. Does anyone have anything they want to bribe me with? Shut up and vote. Admission is not evidence. Can we be certain that he had done it? Yes. Oh. Uh. A battle with Muir has started. Soon we will discover if we were prepared enough. I forgot there was a war. I am for sale. For your vote? Yeah. Or? Oh. Oh. You will get no chocolate from me! What? You didn't say chocolate was on the line. <laughs> Welcome yet again to our final episode of the season, covering the long-standing chronicles of the kingdom of Unkist so far and henceforth and what have you. I'm noticing something. So my dad told me that the last time this council got together, there was a big blowout between these two clans. This man's father took my father's anal virginity and he will never be forgiven. Oh, well, this man got my dad. This man's dad. Sorry. <laughs> this man. Oh, I'm, I'm tired. You pass? I'm tired. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us, where whoever you are, from both Pickle and Rygon. Bortney, again. It's pleasure. me. I'm still here. They paid me a lot of money for butt pregnancy potion. Oh, wow. Butt pregnancy? <laughs> <laughs> and then I am here as well. Good to see you. Representing the royal Dorak. Yeah, you can call me Von Diaper. That is my name. My diaper's full right now. Okay, wonderful. And it has been for it, days. Unfortunately, Tess Thistlepine passed away from some bad chocolate or allergic yes, chocolate. Yes, she was allergic to milk she, chocolate. It was very just sad. Just after it having very sad. been resurrected. So unfortunately, the seat of Thistlepine will remain okay. empty. Okay. Whoa! I'm Whoa. gonna gag. What is this? I Speed. am the strain. The, I am the stranger. Wow. Will you be sitting like that this whole hour? It, you could hardly call this sitting. Welcome, stranger. And you care to represent Thistlepine in these matters? Yes, but I am no Thistlepine, for I am the I am the stranger. I don't think we got your name. I'm Hot Pickle. Hot Pickle, very good. By and the way, as the stranger was entering, Fat Dragon choked and then spit up into his bowl, <laughs> yep. which then made Bortney almost gag. Could this possibly be the missing <laughs> tip tickle <laughs> that we saw disappear into yeah. the bowels of the castle? I'm not, not a missing tip tickle, tickle. is that you? Oh, he's not a baby. Anymore. We need to bring this kingdom back to prosperity from Aye. what our forefathers left Aye. it. And truly serve King Diaper Never Runs. Diaper Never Runs. Diaper King never Diaper Never Runs. Run. I can't lift it. Diaper Never, never Runs run forever. The diaper Never Runs. Watch. Uh, ye microphone. That's a good point. It's, Very good. It's fine. The dark okay. never run. I'm there it is. Is that a year? Oh. Well, on that positive note, let's add some negativity to all of this. <laughs> How about a secret agenda that we might share upon each other? Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I don't need to be a distraction. Mask stranger. Yeah. Are you composed enough to find a secret agenda representing House Thistlepine? Of course. Well, here you go. Have at it. Okay. It's looking at me. Sorry mm, about Water. it. Try not to focus too hard on it. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have uh, an interesting and diverse collection of conversations and jokes that will not all end in disgust at one thing. Yeah. Am I the thing that You're is right. disgusting? She is I'm quite disgusting. shocking. <laughs> Which is a gross. Okay. The opportunist agenda wants all of the resources in the negative half of the resource check. So who gets these snacks? Let's move this. Cousin. I will take this. Oh, I feel bad for everyone who comes after that. Maybe we should just pick one for you. What? What? Yes. Give me yeah. all the cards. Let me touch them all. Why don't you just no, no. tell us what you want? Oh, let me touch them all. I need to see them. The rebel agenda needs resources to be at either extreme of the resource track. With three cards remaining, how 
Why don't you just say? <laughs> Point to the one. Which <laughs> one? Which one? <laughs> Here. Like a sandwich, I'll eat the middle one. There you are. Perhaps. That shall be yours. Fuck. The moderate agenda desires all of the resources in the middle of the resource track. This will line squeezed into our are. butt pregnancy. Why can't you, my dude? The greedy agenda wants a few resources to be at either extreme of the resource track and also desires to get the most gold coins. Enjoy, winch. Here you are. The extremist agenda desires the largest distance possible between two resources on the resource track. Let us begin. <laughs> the dilemma. <laughs> ah, what's up? Yeah, I can't believe we have a dilemma here at this table. <laughs> <laughs> you got the, I would say, long end of the stick in this yes. crossbreed. Uh, kind of some cool horns and a forked tongue. We're pretty normal over here in hot pickle. <laughs> the council will proceed to vote on the dilemma by placing power tokens on the I or nay cards in front of their house screens. Council members may also pass on voting by taking a coin from the bank and either gathering power or choosing to become the moderator and tiebreaker of this vote. Whichever house puts the most power behind their vote shall become the leader of this issue and will sign their family's name to the history books. And new envelopes may be opened to further the storyline and introduce new dilemmas for the council. The end of the game will be triggered if the king dies or if he abdicates his throne. The king will abdicate if the kingdom's resources fall too far out of balance and he will die if too much time passes. The court is in turmoil. The king has been kidnapped. Oh. oh no! The crime has been claimed by an asher. He demands that we free his son from the gallows and give them a hefty sum of money before he will release the king. Off the books, the royal treasurer points out that there are many heirs to the king. While money can't be created for free between the sheets, do we pay the ransom? We promise to serve. <laughs> Diaper never runs. We'll have less money for food. At cost. Money and a negative sticker. Should we nay? We lose tower and a negative sticker. What say you, leader? Yes, leader. I am poised to. Oh, You're not me. the leader. I'm the leader. Oh. Oh, I wonder why he assumed. <laughs> oh, speaking of time. <laughs> I say nay, we do not negotiate oh, with terrorists. Nay! All right. Ooh, two cast for nay. That's going to be a bad Guys, sticker. That will be a doozy. All right. Over to you. We can touch your stuff for you. I'm definitely what going to it? touch your stuff for you. Please do not Here's touch your stuff. Here's what I'm going to do. It's... Yes? Wait. Which one? You want money? My arms can't reach you want money? That's fine. Right. Which one? I, Don't touch it. I, I, Take your time, I, fat I dragon. I wanted to be uh, Sorry, yeah. Winch. <laughs> you just <laughs> spent whipped cream at Fortnite. All right. What are you doing? I'm putting a coin there. Put a coin pat. Thank uh, you. All right, a coin. <laughs> you pass. For power? For nothing. <laughs> yes. Okay, I, power. I, I pass for moderation. Ooh. Interesting. Where'd this? Oh, that was though. mine? All right. I think it just evaporated in the air. Will I pass or will I vote? Will I vote? I know you're a stranger. That's right, I'm so mysterious. Where does she go? If there is a tie, the thing could be open. Ooh, there is a tie now. Well, you are gonna vote, so I figured I should give you my coin if you solidify the I vote. No, give Ooh. me your money. A coin to I, you say. And a mystical bead from the... Vote from, nay! From the lands of uh, far away. I have no need for coin. I vote nay. Good choice. Hey, Hell hey! Yes. You're here. I'll get those beads later. I'm I was going to, these make the you vote hard. Is over. <laughs> we chose to not pay the ransom and to keep the king's disappearance a secret. Good. A few days later, the king is found lying in horse dung in a back alley on the outskirts of Libra. Yes. He's fine. Naked oh, yeah. and lifeless. Despite our best efforts, the news quickly spreads among the people. The king is dead and the game is over. Uh, Proceed what? to the end game scoring after resolving this card. What? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? <laughs> Tell me that's a joke. <laughs> Wait. Negative four. Negative four. <laughs> Ow. Five plus we should add the momentum. Moment, I mean, we should, because why not? 
One sticker, one thirty. Well, that sucks because I was like, oh, the sticker won't it's... matter. Wait, is the king dead? The king's dead. Yeah. In the in the poop. You died, bro. We should have known the no! shit was here on the other side. No! Oh, are you shitting me? We have to grieve and eat. We have to grieve eat. We have much to consider. We will score in return. <laughs> Town Crier here with an official scoring breakdown. A player's score is determined by their secret agenda cards and open agenda tokens. Secret agenda cards show two different scoring conditions, a resource goal and a money ranking goal. The resource goal awards players with points for keeping resource markers in specific areas of the resource track by the end of the game. The money ranking goal rewards points to the player with the first, second, and third most coins at the end of the game. Players will be rewarded different amounts of points based on their chosen secret agenda. Open agenda tokens are associated with specific resources and can be either positive or negative. Negative. For a positive open agenda, a player gains three points if the resource is the highest, or one point if it is the second highest on the resource track. For a negative open agenda, a player loses three points if the resource is the lowest, or loses one point if it is the second lowest on the resource track. Extra points are also awarded to the players with the most power remaining at the end of the game. The player with the most power remaining at the end of the game gains two whole points. The player with the second most power remaining gains one additional point. These scores are logged into the realm Chronicles, and the player with the most points is the winner of the game. The heir to this house will have the honor of marrying into the royal line. Players are also awarded campaign scores of prestige and crave based on their ranking and whether or not the king died or abdicated in this game. These prestige and crave points will both count towards the final victory at the end of the campaign. Well, we've managed to get ourselves back together enough to see what's gone on in this kingdom. Our king. King Diaper Never Runs did not run, but should have. He is dead, and we shall miss him. And so we have tallied all of our scores to see which one of us is best prepared to do so. In last place, House Pickle. <laughs> I did not have time to sow my seed greed, my greed seed. House Pickle playing as greedy earned seven points from their resource goal for having influence in the bottom quarter of the resource track. They lost three points from their influence negative open agenda token as influence is the lowest resource and also lost one point from their welfare negative open agenda token as welfare is the second lowest resource on the resource track at the end of the game. Pickle also gained six points from their money ranking goal for having the second most gold at the end of the game for a total of nine points. Fourth place goes to Bortney. Really? Yes, fourth place. Fuck. How's Buttered Biscuit playing as the extremist and nine points from their resource goal as influence the lowest resource and wealth the highest resource are nine rows apart on the resource track. Bortney also received four points from their money ranking goal for having the most gold at the end of the game for a total of 13 points. In third place, calling into question the rivalry between their two houses, House Rygon. <laughs> Enough for me! House Rygon playing as moderate received 13 points from their resource goal for having wealth, morale, welfare and knowledge in the middle half of the resource track and also earned 3 points for having the second most gold at the end of the game for a total of 16 points. And I humbly accept the placement second place. House Dorak playing as the rebel earned 9 points from their resource goal for having influence in the bottom quarter of the resource track. They also earned three points from their wealth positive open agenda token as wealth is the highest resource on the resource track and one point from their morale positive open agenda token as morale is the second highest resource on the resource track at the end of the game. Dorak also received two points for having the second most gold and two points for having the most power at the end of the game for a total of 17 points. Which means for the first time in the history of the realm, Thistle Pine, oh, how's Thistle Pine? Oh, well, you, you don't know who I am, but I am an opportunist, and I saw the opportunity, and and, it, and, and in fact, I was a Thistle Pine, a Thistle ah. Pine all along. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> House Thistlepine, playing as the opportunist, received 14 points from their resource goal for having influence, morale, welfare and knowledge in the bottom half of the resource track. They also gained 6 points from their money ranking goal for having the most gold at the end of the game and 1 point for having the second most power at the end of the game for a total of 21 points. Finally, for the first fucking time in my whole line... Halt! What? What? Halt. What? What's Pickle that? Uh, has... Did anyone put power on the card? That... Oh, yeah. oh, oh uh, right. The card that makes the first place lose. Oh! oh, that means the first place is last place? That's oh. still active. So you're in last place. 
Evil last place, thistle fool. You thistle fool, you. <laughs> we must update the scribes. Oh, no. Lord Fax Thistle Pine. It stays forever. <laughs> and the winner is Dora Castro. Oh, Drippy Diaper does it again. Wait, very proud. Does that mean I'm now third? Everyone else moves Woo! up. Thistle Pine all the way to the bottom. Wait, and you know what that back. means? Thank you, Thistle Pine. Can I get some Has of that? anyone yes. ever heard the Magic own? potion for the Thistle Pine clan. Welcome back. Didn't even Welcome have a back. chance to rebel. First is the worst. Second is the best. That's right. I'm going to twerk for you guys now. I'm the well, best. while he twerks, Second we must prepare for our oh, new yeah. king who we will oh, serve yeah. justly okay. and bring you this got. kingdom Ooh. into a much more golden era than the one we face today. Ooh. And that king's name shall henceforth be known as King Jake. Jake the King to Jake! To Jake! Hey, Jake. hey, hey King Jake! A boring name, Jake! Jake. A boring name, Jake! Oh, perhaps. All right, we have reconvened under a new king. King Jake still wants us to work on their behalf to make this kingdom bright and prestigious yet again, and I suggest we do so. We've already passed out our secret agendas, and we are ready to jump right into this. Courtney, why don't you draw the first one here? Lieutenant Lasso of the army has been discovered to secretly be an Asher. He found a way to avoid the gray mark by keeping ash bread consumption at a minimum, but he still retains some divinatory powers and has risen rapidly through the ranks. Many soldiers now feel uncomfortable serving under him, and the high commander recommends he be expelled, but his skills may prove useful. A general who can see the future. General who can see the future. Do we dismiss him? If we do, we have Positive morale. Ooh. And negative faith in the kingdom. I think that's a lot, that one that is. Big, White yeah, castle. Yeah. Got castle. Uh, if we nay and we do not dismiss him, we get a positive sticker. Ooh. But low morale. Ooh. Ooh. You hate to see it. I abstain from making a choice. Oh, okay. abstination for power. Um. <laughs> Moderator. Wow. Give it to me. Glad I mentioned it. Thank you. Yes. Very good. Very good. Rygon. What shall you do? Fat Rygon, oh. dude. Excuse me, Fat Rygon. What I want to do is nay. Which Two I times. Actually, you know, I actually Two agree with. Thank you, Winch. Smells right. like and a you crappy also bakery. Get the new leader token over there. That's Very good. Right. Who would like to pay me for their allegiance? Uh, I don't Robin. think so. Yeah. A coin for me. Very good. I hate that I'm related to you. Listen, Shut up, listen. fatty. Oh, two for I. Two for I. Uh, I have much to consider nipples, in this case. If it ends up being a tie, you could vote I and move that morale and avoid your. Uh, you could I get could. Whatever, I could decide. Whatever, exactly I decide whatever you wanted. And I, I think that's a great decision. Mm. So I pass, mm. thus that you may decide. And to show my thanks, Boner beads. Oh, oh, oh it's instantaneous. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen my boner in a generation. So here you go. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Those are just beads. I decree. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. <laughs> the eyes. Wait, that's the opposite of my vote. Yes. I'm upset. My blood pressure is going to I can't burn. really. We lose one tower defense. <laughs> OK. So two. He just hit his chest so hard he redistributed and we his weight. Gain <laughs> My a heart flag, started again. So move it too. Hell yes, brother! Perfectly <clears throat> equal. Wait, I get my Did, coin. They way. both get momentum. Yeah. They both get momentum. They both get momentum. You Very good, and no one died. Very good. Nobody died. This we made it one year. Yeah. Everyone do a shot of whipped cream now. Where's your whipped cream? This one will oh. go to Rygon. So Fat Rygon. I will read it. There you go. <laughs> Our scholars made a rough interpretation of the inscriptions in the Golden Temple. <gasps> the oh, Golden yeah. Temple, I've heard tell of this. The Golden Temple. They reveal a complex ritual that allegedly allowed the extraction of pure gold from human blood. What the fuck? The royal treasurer believes mining the gold plates from the temple would be profitable enough and wants to erase the knowledge of this damnable ritual. Do we destroy this hellish wisdom? 
I wonder if there's any class of people in particular that would pay for this choice. Should we destroy this knowledge? We Maybe this is just a hunch, but knowledge? I feel like the ashers are going to be harvested for gold. <laughs> should we? <laughs> As they should be. Uh, All right. Not destroy this knowledge, we gain knowledge. Pretty, pretty much uh, open and shut there. Knowledge is power, and power is food. How should you vote? Are you voting or passing? I can assist you. Oh, he's pulling I... out a prop. No, I'm pulling out my fire from, from ah. my belly. I need to. Perhaps better known as a, a prop. Pra. Fuck knowledge. That's what I want to do. I want three for I. Three, three for I. Why don't you just take all his stuff I'm to going... you? I am but a humble assistant. Thank you, Bortney. A witch assistant. Uh, witch assistant. Oh! oh holy six, shit! Six what? for Nay. Read it and weep. He really wants to milk those ashers for gold. It's almost as if he's very, very greedy. Mm-hmm. Indeed. But strong. There it is. Knowledge. That's you. Wants knowledge. That's you. Not crazy about knowledge. Me neither. But I think that in this case, a nay vote is probably more constructive. I just think there's such a thing as too much knowledge. Gotcha. You Fair. can be too smart, and so gotcha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna even the playing field. Wow. And, and kinda, yeah, yeah. Do you? Actually, you know nice. what? I'm gonna give, you know, put the impetus on you, and I'm gonna bring it to almost mm. even. Ooh, yeah. interesting. Well, almost, almost even. Almost even. I don't know if almost even. Ooh, is that chocolate? Yes. Oh, You've got. Yes. I got chocolate. <laughs> Very much so. I shall vote nay oh, for chocolate. No, we can read the oh, chocolate. Okay. No, I don't want I'm, anything you're offering. I'll you're, you you're, the there's chocolate. not enough gold in the kingdom, I assure I'll you. I'll you for the chocolate. Oh, Bortney. I will give you gold if you vote I. Sure, I'll play your game and accept the coin. Thank you. Oh, you crafty <laughs> bastard. <laughs> He found, he I found almost, deal. I almost just thought I was giving a handshake. Deal, we agreed to vote against he each found, other. He found the loophole. <laughs> All right, Rygon, it's back to you. Should you like to contribute <clears throat> more to break my... Is it a tie currently? It's a tie currently. So yes, you should contribute more. Hang on a second. <laughs> no, I just got paid to vote, so you don't have to do anything. <laughs> Shit. 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 Or... <laughs> Maybe, ah! maybe my vote goes to the one who wants to pay. Ooh. Oh, oh. Unless Rygar were to vote now. You can either Fat. vote Rygar, you... or pay a coin. <laughs> it's that. Oh, I see. He had to drink the whole thing okay. to crush it. I'll see what happens. Whoa, a bold <laughs> stand. So the Wait, what is that? The score to the moderator. stands at a tie, and currently it is up to me. Coin. Or? The clown apparently wants to see your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I have decided! The nays have it. Uh, you can yay. turn the power back, it's fine. There's, there's the shirt, the clown wants to see your boobs. All right, no one. <laughs> they, no they one passed, teams. Huh? While studying the inscriptions about the ritual, our, our scholars find additional carvings. One depicts eight counselors apparently exiling a ninth, a woman with a chalice in her hand. Meanwhile, our scholars prepare to test the ritual. Ooh. Ooh. So knowledge goes up to one, two. Can someone read the card where I get coin for knowledge? You get, uh, the signer of this coin gains one gold whenever it goes up. So you get a gold. The story unfolds. <gasps> a grim fountain of gold. A convicted criminal chained within a cauldron is used as a test subject for the strange ritual. The fire is lit under him and exotic components are poured inside. Good. After a seemingly endless amount of screaming, a shimmering flux of liquid gold starts slowly <gasps> dripping out of the victim's flesh, <laughs> yeah. flowing out of the cauldron through a spout. We can now Whoa. extract pure gold from human blood. Finally! Unfortunately, sacrifices seem inevitable as the ritual requires a lot of blood, mm. and mixing blood from multiple subjects causes it to fail. Alchemists are excited about finally learning how to turn less noble elements into gold, but many believe we have gone too far. Is this the liquid gold that we've been searching for the whole game? I believe it is! All right! I love to play All right. God. Also, the leader in this case will have to sign this, gets to Crave, and we shall place upon this card eight gold coin. Whenever a player opts to pass, they may take one additional coin from here. 
If there are no more go- uh, coins on the card at the end of the game, the scoring for the coin ranking on secret agenda cards is reduced by two. Go on. That's it. Mm. So Let there, me sign it. Also, this is just a glue stick. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> Who keeps doing this? I don't know. And then we put eight gold upon this. Oh, yeah. Gimme! And when do when can we take from it? Anytime you pass, you may take one additional coin, but if at the end of the game it's empty, coins are worth less. Well, we figured out the gold. The alchemist Zosimos may have found a way to refine the process of extracting gold out of blood. Perfect, we solved it. Perfect. It may spare us from performing so many sacrifices, but he needs criminals to test the improvements. That's <laughs> oddly specific. During these tests, no gold would be produced and the subjects would still die, mm, I see. but the potential for future benefits are great. Do we allow Zosimos to experiment on criminals? Tell me what's at stake, other totally, than the lives yeah. of criminals. If we say, good, yes, go for it, we get bad wheat. Very bad wheat indeed. Uh-huh, okay. but, a, but a very Are good... Are the criminals sowing the fields? <laughs> I guess so. A very good sticker. Ooh, uh, a good sticker. Good I sticker. like yeah, that. I love stickers. Uh, and if we say no, then we lose knowledge. Well, it starts with you, great leader. Do I get to coin also when knowledge goes down? No. <laughs> Me well, then so. I vote for I. Wow, okay. All right. I no, wait. Not. You wish for no, no, wait. no, no, no. You have to play by no. the same rules he does. Yeah. <laughs> you that your... thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are all equals at this fine <laughs> table. Are. Okay. I feel like he's going to eat one of us. Oh. And I would like one of those eight coins to pass with. Well, mm. you, you, don't, uh, you, you pass. But yes. I want one of those. But you just you get it. Also get that. Put them both on your Okay. Really? I forgot about that. You get Even it, though it and was you get, about you get 90 two. seconds ago. Hmm. Two for I. I mean, I believe strongly in this as well. It seems like a good decision. I say nay. We can't do this. We can't allow this to happen. I just remembered that my it's house snake. Yeah, you're a snake house. Yeah. I shall pass oh, for the yeah. power. You can be the deciding vote here. Should you add two to nay, uh-huh. or should you choose to do nothing? Okay, well, what I'm going to do very quickly, because I know I've been, oh, is that a chocolate, chocolate coin or a regular coin? Chocolate for I. Oh my gosh, look. The editor made fire appear everywhere here. My fire has gotten out of control. A bit's happening now. I gotta put it out. Oh no. Okay, what I'm going to do is- So chocolate, chocolate for I, one eye. I will take you up on that. Did anyone else see that or? Did I, mean, I... I saw I saw like a prop fall off. I'm kind of desensitized. Okay. <laughs> nice. An eye vote. Okay, well you're not very good for him eye. with those open agendas out there, but you know, you do you. <laughs> so the eyes have it. The eyes have it. I shall take this back upon me and gain two additional power. Wait, what is Wait, it? what? I am thing. stronger than ever, and anytime I lose, I gain two power. What? Yes. Anyway, so what happened? <laughs> Terrible screams are heard while Zosimos tests the variation of different parameters on his criminal subjects. However, the results of his study are outstanding. As the efficiency of the ritual is magnified by a factor of 10. Well, first wheat goes down four to six. (gasps) Jesus Oh my goodness. And you're gonna take care of that? Okay. And uh, knowledge does go up one. Ooh, Ooh, coin for me! Oh, fuck. Lucky bitch. Uh, and that has momentum. That gets a tit now. And uh, we need sticker 109. Zosimos optimized the blood conversation. We can now produce much more gold from a single person and fewer sacrifices are necessary. The gauntlets, you want those back, right? You told me? No. Are you sure? No. The king enters the council room, his face pale and tired as if he's not slept for a while. King Jake, welcome. I came to a grave decision. I have a dear friend that I trust completely. She knows a ritual that can make me immortal. (gasps) But to perfect it, she needs some time, eight young girls, and a quiet place to study and practice. I want your support. It sounds crazy, but he is the king. 
Do we comply with the king's will? What happens if we do? Is that real? <laughs> we do that. Yep. And do that. Looks okay. right. And then if we do, don't do, we do that. Oh, flag. Oh, okay. So yeah, we Let's lose see. morale and get a sticker, or we gain morale. Do we want to sacrifice eight little girls? This is for our king. We have to rephrase the question in the narrative. Do we want to sacrifice eight little girls? Nah. Do we want a forever king? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Okay. Kinda. We do have a bit of a problem it as is a an issue. council, long-running council I, of King's Time. I must remind the council, though, that a forever king can still flee. Yes. You know what it smells like? What? When I had scratch and sniff bakery things, that's what it smells like over here. Is that good? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, test this little pint. I wanna get serious for a second. Have you ever gotten back from the store, opened your bags and realized you forgot something? Oh no, that's no laughing matter. Fortunately, DoorDash is here to help, getting you drinks, snacks, and household essentials in 30 minutes. That's right, DoorDash, the app that connects you with the restaurants you love, is getting you household essentials. It's super easy. You just open the app, you choose what you want from where, and it'll be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. Perfect for the moment. And now I can do, uh, do a little... <laughs> because I feel so good. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code BOARD2021. That's 25% off up to $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code BOARD2021. Don't forget that's code BOARD2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Hee hee ho ho ha ha. <laughs> I am indifferent, coin me, coin me. There was a legend that one time your ancestor actually threw a bell into my ancestor's mouth and made it. We still tell our children about this day. Wow, we have forgotten it. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of a big deal in my land. <laughs> Kind of inconsequential for the thistle What pines. shall you do, thistle pines? Okay, yeah. Remember when they were Elvis? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. What? I. Oh, forever king indeed. Oh, listen, now the listen, leader. Listen, little oh, yes. girls come and go. <laughs> but kings just go lately. <laughs> so how we, shall so you we, vote? we need to come out I again, have so. conviction on this. I think or? it may not always be in the best interest of the king to do what he or she say. I agree with a good thistle bottom. I love a little children burning. Trust me, I love to eat little children. But today, uh, I'm into a forever. Oh, yeah, yeah, give me that. Give me okay, that. for an I vote? Sure. All right. Thank you. For an I vote. Go, there's an I. Okay, so somehow in this particular <laughs> scenario, we have allowed the king to come into our chamber and request <laughs> eight young women for <laughs> secret stuff. And it has totally normal, yes. Passed. It is very good. Yeah. Yeah. Hooray! Very good. <laughs> to what? sacrificial and children. <laughs> sacrificial I children. I love it as my witches. And I shall have somehow have to tie my name to this for all time. <laughs> good, good. Well, let's see what burden I have brought upon myself. The king receives a supporting edict from the council. You got a dick, all right. Yeah. Eight girls are selected from a local orphanage. Oh, okay. And the king himself instructs the royal guards to escort them to a secret location in Nyarev Forest at dusk. As they leave, the night is filled with the desperate cries of the poor girls. Fair. There can be none other than Sister Celestina behind this strange request. We lose two morale. Yep, What? but what do we lose from the game? <laughs> <laughs> Sticker 64 and envelope 29. How could you do this, Sir Diaper? What's Let wrong me with sign you? my name upon this <laughs> such that Some I unbelievable and my people may never forget. Uh, what's the sticker number? 69. Defiler of innocence. Rumors of the disappearance of the eight young girls spread, leading some to suspect that the council was behind the vile deed. It was just him. Some you of us were. are a sick, Where did sick my man sick that killed our last king by refusing to negotiate. I hope child murderer looks good on your resume. Right. There it is for... All time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, I forgot the envelope. The oh, How open for me and everything. Night, Thank you. The price of life. 
our guards bring eight girls to an isolated cottage in the Nairo Ref Forest where Celestina awaits them. Justice the Land, yes. Good so with far. the assistance of the Sisters of the Unending who serve their mistress with fervent devotion, she'll conduct tests on the girls to find the secret of immortality. Okay, all right, well, it's already better. We order our guards to keep an eye on the cottage and send us reports. As months go by, locals who enter the woods hear terrifying sounds and screams, and fear starts to spread. Okay. When we are notified that Celestina acquired surgical instruments used to cut open the dead, many suspect a grim fate for the girls. Uh. Traces of dry blood are occasionally found in the woods, and while it is likely it is just the product of regular wildlife activity, speculations abound. Is anyone else hungry? Sign upon this. Absolutely. I not. just don't know how you could let that ha make that happen. And I Her also gain to crave immediately. Oh. We don't know what it means. Here, here, diaper. Here, here. Tell us what's next to on diaper. the agenda. To diaper. It's von diaper. To my diaper. <laughs> <laughs> to you don't even have gloves on. Uh oh, where was everything? It's fine. I didn't have any power anymore. Not you. The board. The board is fucked. Oh, oh no. An Asher named Flavian has predicted the fall of our kingdom at the hands of an invisible threat. Given the current climate of tension, the Tribune thinks we should not publicly endorse him. The Librarian Chancellor, however, recommends we secretly assist him in interpreting his dreams, but this would be a costly endeavor. Do we help Flavian unveil the mystery mysterious threat? With that name, I don't think so. Flavian? It sounds like flavor, and I love flavor. Should we aid Flavian? I we thought you'd eat anything. Yeah, can you I'll taste eat anymore? anything. Okay. At the cost Literally of money. anything. And we shall lose knowledge, should we not? Still very much a right gun. Remember when we cut up those children? Let's I don't just know move, what story let's he's just telling. Move on. Let's okay. just move on. So, what do we think? Shall we aid Flavian, gain yes. some knowledge at the cost of coin? Let's pay through the teeth. Aye. We should. Mm, yeah. We should. In a pursuit of knowledge, we must make up for the decisions we have made in the past. A pretty extreme opinion, I would say. I say nay, but only a little bit. A little bit nay. It's a tiny little nay. Mm -hmm. You gotta turn to it upside down, pal. That Rygon. Don't inhale. He's just getting high. I agree with with this man. Oh, thank you. But I'm going to pass so I can get hey. it. Oh, of course oh, you coin. I got chocolate. it, don't touch the coins. Fatty, do you want chocolate? I've already done it. I oh. wish I could eat your coin. I also pass for coin. We're running out of that coin, folks. Gee. I don't care. That seems to be the case. Also, uh, I pass for the hammer, not for power. Oh. Did did the leadership move when you voted? Wait, I didn't Dear get diaper? my power. How uh, do I get power? You get power. No. Exactly. So it ends with me? It ends with you. We live in a society. True. I've heard this. And I would like it to keep going, so let's talk with Flava Flavian. Nice. That's and not the coin. Fuck me. God damn it. I had two days to get there. There you go. Yay! Hooray. We shall allow Flavian to aid us right, in our Pokemon. ways. Flavian's visions reveal a truth that could have been dismissed as a child's myth if it wasn't carefully researched. With the assistance of other Ashers and by cross-referencing with the Chronicles of the Realm, a terrible truth emerges, which Flavian describes in a secret report entitled the way empires end. We must attach a mystery sticker! Oh, sure. Where are the mystery stickers? I think they're in the book or I something. Who knows? Really bad. The way empires end. There's an ancient secret organization formed from the remnants of a great empire of old. They believe that the enduring lust for more power destroyed their home, and they are determined to maintain a balance among the many kingdoms. Uh -huh. They communicate secretly in their ancient tongue, and the most important members are marked with the glyph of a black dawn. Then what happened? They also have a system of common signs to communicate with one another, such as burning three windmills on a single road, we didn't we have an incident with one else? Oh, oh, they no. smell well chemically strange. Releasing 81 white doves in a city. I think that, that happens. happens. I, don't, we I don't form, remember that. We, they form small cells without any hierarchy among them, each cell composed of nine members, as nine were the members of their lost empire's ruling council. None have knowledge of the whole structure, making the organization extremely resilient and difficult to eradicate once and for all. Through the ages, they preserved the secret knowledge of their most advanced technological secrets. Now, the Black Dawn indirectly slows the progress of any kingdom that might threaten the balance. Their favored methods are bribery and assassination. Their goal is not to eradicate civilization. 
They always leave someone to build upon the ruins of the societies they bring to collapse. Did you add some of that? They took the tickles. I shall press this into the lineage, the the tome that we have upon us. This one it's here. It's swir swirly, the one that took Put me. Put it straight. The one that took There's my victory. There's only one shot or we gotta buy the whole game again. It's got bumps in it. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Behold. The game is over. <laughs> We have uncovered a secret more than any of our forefathers have done in the past. But it's useless because they are separated into nine and we'll never be able to eradicate them like the Taliban. I have a question. A secret chamber in the temple. It's got lots of old golden leaves. They got an old language in them. He's translating them with his assistants. It's going slow. Okay. He's like, Guys, help me out. But there's a bunch more people near the pit and it's not a good look. It's a kind of secret that they could sell to people who don't like us. Yeah, do we want to send more people to help him? This confuses if me. If we do send oh, people to help him des describe the stuff, yeah. uh -huh. uh, we get some knowledge. Good, nice. love so knowledge, lose, starting at the top. We lose some faith in the kingdom. Oh, well, mm. I hate to see that. Mm. Nope, that's morale. Uh, and if we don't do it, then we just lose some knowledge. Because we're just not going to find out oh, what it is. Just a little smidge of knowledge? I think we should say nay. Nay? Personally. Then I shall vote for nay. Okay. okay. Less knowledge. <laughs> you convinced me by saying it out loud. I too vote for nay. <laughs> I manifested How do you it. vote, Fat Rygon? I think I need a snack to think about this. Let's see here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's see what I think. So that's, by the way, the pizza we get to eat. That's when the game is when over. When the game Sleep is completed. Pizza. That means he's touched it. How did you get that slice out without touching any of the rest of the pizza? Hey, After wouldn't... using the bathroom. Wouldn't you like to know, Pick? I don't want to know. We still don't what know do if he you... himself Okay, so he said nay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's say ye pickle. <laughs> well, none of us can eat the pizza. That's what you think. More for me, then. Yeah. Huh? Yes, that's what we know. All one, right. one from the bank, baby. I Wait, will you also didn't pass. even vote nay. And you're passing, and you're going to remove all the gold. No. Oh, if you remove that, all gold is worth less. No, well, yeah. And that's fine. Good. Wow. Yes. Chaos. That's, that's what I'm doing. Rains. I'll kill you! <laughs> all, that, all that gold. Freeze frame in the episode ends. <laughs> all right, so the nays have it. The nays have it. All right. Not even, so we were oh. letting someone do something? I don't remember. Yes, <laughs> I think so we're we have a game. decided not to, we cannot risk details of the secret ritual leaking out. Of course. So we refuse to send more scholars. Of course. Litmius keeps translating the scrolls oh, nevertheless okay. and is enthralled by their content. They give a full account of the rise and fall of the ancient sun okay. empire. So listen, we didn't send reinforcements, but it seems they like they still- still figured some shit out. They figured it out. Great. The chrono oh, but. The chronicles are too numerous for so few to accurately interpret, so only a few excerpts are translated. We lose one knowledge. We got a couple of them, though. Okay. Okay. Attach mystery sticker D! <laughs> the most powerful among them was the reign of the chalice. Once it peacefully joined our empire, it became a door to the west to maintain the peace. The marriage was arranged between the dollar. <laughs> Can you read it with more enthusiasm? Of the Chalice King and the first son of the greatest family in the Sun Empire. After some centuries, the entire continent was ours. A council of the nine most influential families was formed to rule over the empire, so much like what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them, Rhea of the Chalice province, claimed to have found a way to make them immortal, but the price they would have to pay was their own children. The council yeah, okay. was horrified and banished her from the empire. Fragment three. Rhea finally arrived with her eight invincible generals the war was lost. She may have dimmed the sun empire, but the sun will rise again after the eclipse like a black dawn. Wow. Okay, again, so... I don't understand the context. I don't understand what it These means. These are merely smidgens. Sorry, I was, fo I was laser focused in on this piece Nightmare. of shit over here. <laughs> don't worry about me, Pickle. We shall place this upon our tome. Here she goes. Oh, yes. Another mystery filled Solved. in. I think. Mind you, we are now we have been at this council We've entered for a the very killing long phase. time. <laughs> yes. Everything is resolved. Okay, new dilemma. What's a next? A new dilemma. A battle with the Muir has started. Soon we will discover if we're prepared enough to turn this card over and follow the instructions. Wait, wait, I, I don't want to read that. No. Uh, I think we lost. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have any power Well, maybe tokens. we should count all the power on the card first. Open it. We need sticker 173. 
Am I the leader? Oh. Shit. <laughs> Here you go, leader. We didn't even fight. We didn't need to. War reparations. Following our humiliating defeat against the kingdom of Muir, we've been forced to pay hefty war reparations, a cost will, that will weigh on the shoulders of many generations to come. To the next generation! <laughs> it was 173? Yes. 173! Shut up! Oh, <laughs> God, my fat ripples! That's what I say in the mirror. I don't feel good about <laughs> any of this. To the power of coin, we have placed my legacy. Great. Glad that's over with the 500 year war. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready, Rai, go. Was it really very um, Is this my turn? Yeah, do you want to read it? I'll hold I it. I'd love to. The rector tells us that Falm, a scholar from Salad, has been conducting dreadful experiments on criminal ashes during their detention. Salad sounds too close Can't to just salad. Read it. Okay. <laughs> He's been found <laughs> guilty of torture and he is about to be executed. Since he is the most brilliant medical mind of our time, some say we should commute his sentence to life in prison for the sake of knowledge. Do we spare Form's life? Where do we? If we do, yeah, we get you. some knowledge and we get a good sticky. Mm. Mm. If it's we me. don't, we get some faith in the uh, kingdom. White oh, Castle. Sorry, that's morale. We, we get, get White Castle. We get White Castle. Keep, keep which that. I love. Okay, yeah. I, I can eat a hundred of those. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like maybe it's defenses. I'm not sure, but yeah. As leader. As leader. As leader. I as leader. Shall, I, shall. I need to unfold my legacy from this misery that has been everything thus far. What? Four for I. Oh, you think just because you do four eyes, we're going to forget that you sacrificed eight schoolgirls earlier, huh? Yeah, I actually, yeah. I had already forgotten about that. So. Now you reminded yeah. him. I'm going to pass for moderator. Uh, oh, for moderator. It served me nothing. Very good. It's really good talk. All right, what do you choose yeah, to do, Rygon? So I'm yeah. going to pass for you, or? No, I want to do... Nay, Nay, that. Nay, how much? Okay. Five gold coins. <laughs> you mean five power? <laughs> no, gold coins. I mean one power. Just one power. What, what is going <laughs> on? Nay. One know power. He knows not what he says. No, wait. I want five. All right, five. Okay. <laughs> You are a leader now. Yes, I'm the best leader we got. I hate the chewing noises <laughs> while he's laughing. I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Well, wait, Seven. that took nothing. No, that's good. Seven nay. to nay. <laughs> <laughs> what say you? Can I get a coin? A coin, yeah. indeed. Here you yes, are. Say, thank you so much. Who is moderator? You are moderator. I'm moderator. Is it a tie? No, it's not a tie. It's not a the tie. Nays uh, hold on, hold on. I'm not done yet. But it comes wait, back passed. around. I have a yes, second. Yes, but I'm not done yet. Oh, he did. Yeah, uh, sorry. He does have oh. a second vote. Oh, where does this go? Okay. Oh. Oh. Confidence. I don't want history to repeat itself. Very well, good. Well, I mean, the girls being sacrificed, that happened, you know, twice, it seems. Mm. But, That's but uh, for me. And what say you? Are you putting, are you doubling down? Are you letting it go? I need two or no. There's a lot of stuff in there. Don't let history eat itself. I really need a good name for myself is the problem. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got jokes. He's got a bright next few weeks before I he dies. I am going to play eight power. Fuck. Eight power? Yes. Fist him. You get fisted. Get fisted, And the bitch. play passes and you... Wait, I have no power he though to nothing. counteract that. It's up to you. I could add... Oh. Okay. Oh, I could add more see. power. Very good. <laughs> but I don't, I won't. I shall take it. Okay. All right. I don't even remember what we're voting. So not, I have not a clue. Some I sort of commuting passes, of a sentence. That's plus two to knowledge. And. Coin me. He gets a coin. And Go sticker coin 122. Fom lives. Notwithstanding his confinement, Fom's work continues to broaden our understanding of medicine. A boon Ooh. for knowledge, but a meager consolation for the victims of his tortures. Mm. What was on that card? 
<laughs> I shall mark my name upon this. You seem to be having a rough go of it, making all these terrible decisions. So oh, I'll give you one of these. Thank you. Pat. So show me your tits. <laughs> what? It says the rector tells us that Fom, a scholar from Salat, has been conducting dreadful experiments. Ah, oh, oh, yes, of course. You have a case of FOMO? Once again, <laughs> knocked it out of the park. All he right. could just be gross, but he's gross and funny. <laughs> The Tribune reports that sinister things keep happening in the Neora Forest. Really? <laughs> yeah, I know. Good Fresh graves in the cemetery of Lumbertail's Nest were desecrated, and the corpse is stolen for some undoubtedly nefarious goal. That's a pretty presumptive card. Yeah. Many chill at the thought. Cool. Oh, of such heinous thefts. Oh. <laughs> not chill. I thought many are chill. And they clamor for the institution of a special core of Grave guards, a costly endeavor that some deem unnecessary. Do we institute a corps of grave guards? Dissolve the army! <laughs> Elect the grave guards! Good sticker! Stinks. Good morale! But bad morale. Ooh. No okay. sticker. That's oh. negative. Yeah. Ooh. Bad morale and just that. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very well. All right, leader, what say ye, leader? Oh, it's I me. know what you say, I can see what you have. I shall mm, pass. Very well. <laughs> I too. Despite feeling strongly on this matter, I, I feel as though I should pass. I pass. I want three on nay, because no. I feel strongly about it. Put it on this. red. Fist him. Broke my fist ear. Me, You're baby. the fisty. Fist him red. What say ye? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. A bold stance. All right, give me a coin. A sure, coin yeah. indeed. I can't reach it. Here you go. Once again, I intimidate everyone into passing, huh? Please tell us what has now occurred based on our decisions. We create, since we didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Since we didn't provide any kind of additional protection to the graveyards, fresh corpses continue to be stolen. Good. Some are found in the nearby Nyara forest, horribly cut open, while others are found emptied and stuffed. That sounds like <laughs> talk. <laughs> others are found wandering. <laughs> what is terrifying the local folks the most is that some are never retrieved at all. That's the biggest mm. issue. What? Some of the corpses are never retrieved. Yeah. They go missing. Uh, we got kings going missing every other year. Yeah. No. The morale uh, goes way down. Put that down four, baby. One, two, three, four, and five. five. Yeah, give it a tick. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> dun, dun, you wanna hear something really funny? That was the exact opposite of what I needed to happen, and I'm the <laughs> only one that voted for it. Well, yeah. That was stupid of me. I'm not hearing anything coming from King Jake's chamber. Shall we check? Is that the only thing that happens on the card? That's it. Okay. The king is gone! The king Oopsie is daisy! The king we have lived. lost the king yet again. <laughs> Why do they keep running? I'm trying to think of the one consistency. I don't know. It's this. almost as like something that continues on through time. Perhaps we shall glean some information after counting up all of our scores. All we wanted to do was improve this kingdom in yet another king who, by the way, was at death's door and probably would have died within the month has fled our kingdom. But we did the best we could and we shall be ranked accordingly. Mm, so yes. without further ado, the ranking of the houses. In fifth place, House Pickle. <laughs> Listen, I was greedy. But Chubbs McFuck over here fucked me over every single round. House Pickle playing as greedy earned four points from their resource goal for having influence, morale, and welfare in the bottom quarter and knowledge in the top quarter of the resource track. They lost three points from their welfare negative open agenda token as welfare is the lowest resource on the resource track at the end of the game. Pickle also gained six points from their money ranking goal for having the second most gold and one point for having the second most power at the end of the game for a total of eight points. I shove pickles like you up my ass for breakfast. I mean, if that's what you're into. All right, moving on. In fourth place, we have Bortney. Yeah. 
Uh, it was a long run. I'm very old. I'm very tired. And you're out of potion, I I'm out of, and out of potion. House Potato Biscuit, playing as moderate, received seven points from their resource goal for having influenced wealth in the middle half of the resource track and oh. lost one point from their morale negative open agenda token as morale is the second lowest resource on the resource track at the end of the game. Botney earned one point for having the third most gold and two points for having the most power at the end of the game for a total of nine points. Third place, hmm, this is interesting, Pickle. Rygon! Yeah, Pickle, what you got to say about that, buddy? Undeserving! Yeah. House Rygon, playing as the opportunist, received 14 points from their resource goal for having influence, wealth, morale, and welfare in the bottom half of the resource track for a total of 14 points. In second place... House Dorak, the extremist! House Dorak playing as the extremist and 17 points from their resource goal as welfare, the lowest resource, and knowledge, the highest resource, are 17 rows apart on the resource track at the end of the game for a total of 17 points. Which means oh, that the winner back. of this, our final game, Redemption is Thistlepine, House Thistlepine! House Thistlepoint playing as Rebel earned 19 points from their resource go for having influence, morale, and welfare in the bottom quarter and to knowledge in the top quarter of the resource track. They also received two points for having the second most gold and two points for having the most power at the end of the game for a total of 23 points. As wow. the winner of this game, you get to name the next heir. Okay, wow. I, got, I have had so many opportunities to not do this. Okay. On the throne next will be King. Fuck you! Whoa! Whoa. What? Whoa. Fuck chocolates. you, you fat fuck! No more! You ruined the pick of line! She has to name the king. I think I'm gonna boss! Don't you dare! <laughs> what don't you dare? Wait. Oh. I'm barfing all over you, pickle! You stupid pickle! That's my vomit all over you! You're an idiot! How much water is in there? <laughs> my god! Pickle! What? I think I'm gonna be sick again! Uh, I got another one of these! I got it came with two! You're an idiot, Pickle! I'm throwing up! I'm gonna get all the last remaining dry spots! Every dry spot is gonna be wet with my bath, you fucking moron! You ah. suck! Oh, I think I'm gonna have a heart attack! Fuck this kingdom, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. I shit my diaper! Go get him! Oh, this is fucking insanity! Is fucking insanity. I need to change it! Now try and keep this shit organized. There's pizza over here. This is, this is horseshit, I'm out. I'm just gonna take a nap. I'll hang out, but I'm just gonna take a nap. Okay. Maybe it's time for a queen. And that, dear listeners, brings us to our stunning conclusion? Quite the cliffhanger it was. Oh boy, I was on the edge of my seat. But this is not the end. Only the end for now. For perhaps our fair storytellers will reconvene once more to tell us more of their tales. And we will see which heir will reign supreme. Until now, I bid thee farewell in thou travelers, mine traveler. <laughs> No way. <laughs> <laughs>